Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing episode 4 of Disney Dreamlight Valley and I'm super excited about it. I really really loved playing through this episode. Um, I think it's an updated version of Disney Dreamlight Valley um, with like the doorknob quest. And uh, <laughs> there's my expression being so excited that it was raining. I was incredibly excited that it was raining right there. I love rain in games. It makes me feel so cozy and relaxed. So um, <laughs> that's what that was there. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be playing this fourth episode. Um, mostly we're focused on gathering resources, cleaning up our valley a little bit, and um, yeah. Um, but I just want to remind everyone why you'll see voiceover Kaz, um, or you'll hear voiceover Kaz and not see me talking. Um, that is because we're trying this newer format of, of recording that I find really soothing and relaxing for me, um, where we end up playing the game, focusing on enjoying the gameplay, and kind of relaxing while we play and then um and then we jump into recording it after so that's just what i'm sort of focused on in this in this playthrough um and i'm really enjoying it i know i keep saying that but i feel the need to express how much better it is for me and for recording um it makes actually recording content super soothing and relaxing so if you ever are like hmm i would love to do content creation but I don't feel comfortable recording um, or whatever, I highly recommend this format because it does sort of bring a little bit more of a soothing aspect to it. And also it's it allows me to really focus on the gameplay and not on sounding cool or fun or making sure I'm saying the right thing. It just lets me focus on the gameplay, which I really enjoy. Um, and I've been able to actually really feel relax when I'm playing um also just so you know we're gonna actually jump into the gameplay here because uh it has since started and I think it's kind of funny to see my facial expressions back because I don't realize that I'm making those facial expressions while I'm playing um so it's kind of fun so I was able to like see me think my thinking face where I like puff out my cheeks and stuff um it's kind of fun <laughs> Um, but right here, we're just kind of trying to organize our inventory a little bit, make it not messy. And I think we're about to do some interior decorating. Oh my goodness, how exciting. We're doing some interior decorating, which is, for those who don't know, my favorite part of any game. I love, love, love decorating a space. Um, it's part of why I love Sims so much. Um, but we're just going to go through, try to get used to the controls in a hot second here, I do also move my my camera to the other side of the screen because I did promise that I would do that. So I will remember that in like 10 seconds. Um, don't worry. But for right now, we're just going to kind of kind of get rid of everything. Start fresh. Um, I hate the walls and floors in this in this space. I think they're so gross. Um, and I think they're meant to be. They're meant to be gross and annoying, but... I, I get very excited that we can we can decorate and make our house a little better. I really like that yellow. It's so bright and cheerful. I think it's so, so, so soothing. But I also think it's cool that we can kind of change the wallpapers and do separate ones. So like if we want one wall to be this white color and the other wall to be that yellow color, we could do that. I don't think I do that in this playthrough or in this part so far, but maybe I will if we get like a brick so I can do an exposed brick feature wall. Cause uh, those of you who know me through Twitch and stuff, I am deeply obsessed with exposed brick and subway tile, but uh, that's, that's a whole other story. <laughs> also hardwood floors. I'm obsessed with hardwood floors. They're beautiful. All right. So this is kind of the base we're going with. We're going to go with the, 
white and yellow walls and the the hardwood floors and rugs I love area rugs <laughs> they're so cute um I also really like that sink I think it's a very cute sink um so we're gonna swap places put it kind of against the wall there not like that Kaz not like that <laughs> there you go beautiful um but just look at this space it's so cute and that bed oh I love the the beautiful um pillows on it that's so cute I'm also not sure how much this this microphone picks up, but if you do hear a little bit of clicking in the background, that is my lovely partner, Matt, who is um, playing a game in the background. We share an office, which is one of my favorite things. Um, he annoys me a little bit, but... I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Matt. But it's okay, because um, having the, sharing the space with him kind of lets us do co-working or body doubling or whatever you call it. But it's super nice to share a space that makes you happy with a person that makes you happy. So I'll stop being dumb now, but <laughs> I love my partner very much. So I enjoy sharing this office with him. It lets a lot of my my work time be spent with him, which is kind of nice. Also there, if you saw me look to the left, um, my cat was being really annoying. <laughs> and he was like doing zoomies, um, but very cute as well. I do think it's a little sad, the furniture we have so far. Um, so I'm really excited when, I think it's either in this episode or the next one, we open up the shop that Scrooge McDuck owns. Um, that's really, really exciting. I think it's really cool. Um, and we get some cool stuff that I cannot wait to decorate um, with. So yay exciting <laughs> that's that's me looking at my cat he's made a little bed for himself in our closet to the left or to the right of the my desk <laughs> i'm also a little disappointed with the the windows we have i don't love that nighttime one i think it's pretty but i don't love it very much and it annoys me a little So right here, I'm kind of playing with where I want things to go. Um, it doesn't end up looking like this. I think I actually move everything. Yeah, like I move the bed to the other side and stuff like that. But we get it there. It looks, it looks okay eventually, I promise. You can also see me talking to myself as I, um, as I organize and stuff. I really enjoy um, enjoy interior decorating. I think it's such a a soothing process because it's something I really enjoy in real life. I love, love, love making a space in my actual life feel cozy and feel full of things that make me happy. Um, if you look behind Not Talking Kaz, you can see that space. It has a lot in it. This is my office that I share with my partner. Um, it's full. It's full of things. It's full of books. It's full of beautiful lights. It's full of posters. It's full of things people have made for me, things my students have made for me. Um, and I just, I find it so soothing to walk into this space. I'll literally just come in here and sit down sometimes. And I think that's, that might be why I really enjoy, enjoy that aspect of games as well. Because I, I want to have a space that I walk into and feel happy. Um, now this is not the final space, I don't think. Um, I think it definitely needs needs some new furniture and needs to be a bit bigger. But for now, this is what it looks like. Um, and oh my goodness, I can lounge on the bed and scroll through my phone. Oh, so cute. And look at, look at her little legs just kicking. She looks so relaxed. That gives me so much joy. And there we go. 
that's me moving <laughs> the camera to the other side. Sorry. <laughs> it took me, what, uh, 10 minutes to do that? Nine minutes? <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the space so far. And I do think it is one of those parts of the game that just feels relaxing to to step into um and it can just it can just be nice to to play a game that way and to prioritize the the space inside so now that that's handled it's no longer on my mind i'm no longer annoyed and now i get to enjoy the rain and clear my inventory a little bit by dropping some some seeds that i don't think i'll ever really do I don't love planting and gardening in games. I find it kind of stressful. Kind of like fishing. Um, it's not my favorite thing, so I just, I don't think I'm really going to do that too much unless I absolutely have to. So, yeah. We're going to ignore those seeds and just put them there so I never have to think about them. <laughs> and here we are cleaning up the night thorns is that what they're called yeah night thorns i think they're called night thorns we're gonna clear them up a little bit make the space a little better have um get some more money <laughs> which is always good um and i think we're gonna actually focus on goofy's quest oh no maybe not okay nope i lied Hi there, pal. we're gonna sell some crap So I want to sell all of this. Um, I feel like me selling everything is not the best, but I'm going to blame blame the game for giving us such little inventory space and such little, uh, little space. So we're going to blame the game for that. Never mind. Okie dokie. Come back anytime you need something. I do love Goofy. He's very cute. Oh. Improving the stall will be a sound investment. Goofy could buy and sell more products, so you could make more improvements to the valley. Hell yeah. And it's only 500? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're gonna do that. <laughs> Would you look at that? What a selection of items to purchase. I don't imagine I'll actually be purchasing any items from Goofy's stall, or many. Um... Probably I'll mostly be selling, but hey, it looks good. <laughs> I just noticed Scrooge just runs back. He just runs away back to his, his little base, his little home for his mission. <laughs> oh, I've also recently started to notice in this episode just how common these um bright crystals are and you can get like a bunch of cool stuff so like rubies which you could then sell for a lot or is that garnet i don't know <laughs> it's it's a redstone um but you can sell it for a lot which is kind of cool here i am also adjusting my settings because i found that the game lags a little bit i might even lower it to like medium or high just because I don't think it needs to be on on very high or ultra for sure um so we'll probably edit that in the future but for now we will ignore it <laughs> I apologize if you can hear my stomach rumbling a little bit as well I'm getting kind of hungry um which I don't usually get hungry until like 10 or 11 but it actually just hit 10 here in my in my thing so <gasps> it's the golden doorknob and this is when i knew this is from encanto which is probably my favorite disney movie at the moment it has me wailing every time every time i watch it um it's so good it's so good oh my goodness oh i don't know what that is oh pillars of friendship i don't i don't know that's fine um but yeah i am so excited to know that we actually found the doorknob. We can actually do the quest for Mirabelle. Um, is it Mirabelle? Is that... What's what's her name? Is it Mirabelle? I think it's Mirabelle. I need to rewatch that movie, man. <gasps> oh, and I can light the little lamp. But yeah, that is one of my favorite movies. Um, so, well, I was very excited. 
Oh dear, that's dark. Ma there's dark magic emanating from Dazzle Beach. Okay, Merlin, we've got to investigate the curse in the meadow. So let's be sure to talk about it soon. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think I have enough dream light for it. I think that's what I realized. Oh, the goof. I also really love the graphics when we select the puzzle pieces. Like, look at that. It just kind of wraps up and around you. That's so beautiful. I don't know what this one's from. Oh, it's from Wreck-It Ralph. Interesting. Okay. I've actually never seen Wreck-It Ralph. I'm curious, has anyone here seen Wreck-It Ralph? Do you like Wreck-It Ralph? I have never seen any of the movies, um, but I've heard negative things about the second one. So, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I'm sorry, is that, is there a chest in there? Oh my goodness, yes, okay. So we had to do that then. For some coins, oh. Remember, the well is a great source of power. A source of great power. Use the magic it bestows upon you wi wisely. You. And I'm just like, sorry, can't talk right now. Bye. A moment, if you would. Bye, Merlin. Don't want to talk right now. <laughs> so that just pulls Goofy running from wherever he is, doesn't it? Sorry, Goof. <laughs> Ooh, 640. Yeah, we're not going to sell that right yet, but <laughs> eventually we probably will. Okie dokie, come back anytime you need. Thanks, Goof. I'm trying to think of who my favorite character is that, like, starts out in the valley with you. And I think it might be Goofy. I don't love what he makes you do, which is fishing. Uh, because you all know I hate fishing. If you've watched any of these episodes so far. I absolutely hate fishing in video games. But I really like Goofy. I really like him. I think he's a goofball. He's very cute. Uh, he has the kind of energy that makes me very happy in the game. I don't know where everyone else stands with who their favorite character is, but tell me. Tell me who your favorite character in the game is so far. Just from the starting characters, like Mickey, Scrooge, Merlin, and Goofy. I think that's the starting characters, right? Yeah, we actually stopped in here just to refill our energy because I've been more grounded and focused on on that sort of thing which is quite nice <laughs> I was so excited to let my character lounge a little bit again I really like the pillows on that bed it just it, they're so cute I'm really glad I have that bed it brings me so much joy. All right, I think here we're gonna be like, okay, time to time to deal with Scrooge. Oh, and turn the lantern on. Apparently, yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh ho! You gave me quite a start. Okay, Scrooge. <laughs> Don't you know never to sneak up on someone while he's contemplating his investments? <laughs> oh, I'm Kaz, and I'm here to help. <laughs> Are you now? Well, I appreciate that. Ah. But you're going to need a lot more coins to get this shop out of its starry sa sorry state. I'm afraid enthusiasm won't be enough. Scrooge, don't you know I'm freaking rich? It's not so bad. Ah, an optimist. Good for you. Where some see hopelessness, others see opportunity. After the sky went dark, most of the villagers skedaddled. And fewer and fewer clients came in until they stopped altogether. But I can name remember where they all went. I know I stayed to take care of my shop. And my money, of course. <laughs> I love when he tips his hat. Then, hmm. Oh yes, the night thorns blocked me in. And I can name remember much after that. But like light glittering off gold, I'm starting to remember how the villagers used to be, and all its investment opportunities.
Life's about more than money. Aye, of course, of course. You can nay forget treasure. Can you stop saying can nay? <laughs> can you stop, Scrooge? Oh boy. I've got a deal for you, Kaz. If you help me make enough star coins to put my shop back in business, I'll make sure it's stocked with everything you need to put the valley back together. I see you've already helped Goofy get back in business. That was kind of you. I'm very fond of the lad, but he doesn't exactly have a mind for money. Don't be mean to Goofy. Goofy's a sweet little guy. Who cares if he doesn't have a mind for money? He let him exist. <laughs> when you're ready to invest in my grand reopening, you'll find my sign nearby. Oops. Sometimes I get a little overzealous and start going fast. This is called making sense of things. Are you ready to invest? As soon as I open the shop, there will be all sorts of furniture and clothing to purchase. You can trust me or my name isn't Scrooge McDuck. I mean, his name's Scrooge. I don't, I don't know, man. Oh, and it's a thousand coin? Hell yeah. Finally, the grand opening. I love when he tips his hat. Look how cute that is. Oh, the fireworks. That's adorable. My cat scratching his little ear. So stinking cute. Hi, vampire. I know I unlocked it in my, um, the time I played it by myself, um, or on, on stream. But look, you could get another pair of overalls. Oh, I should have bought these. It's the next day as I'm recording this, so I can't afford them. Or right, they probably wouldn't be in there, but I should have bought them, damn it. Oh, and I missed a chest over there. Are you kidding me? There's a chest over there? Oops. <laughs> oh my goodness, so I see an espresso machine. I physically cannot not order an espresso machine if I see it. So, it's also 180 star coins. I'm buying it. I love espresso. I love me some espresso. Yeah, so that's a really cute store. I like it. I'm excited to upgrade it and get maybe furniture and stuff. Like, not furniture, like walls and stuff. If you invest in the shop, I can improve the building, add more room for large furniture, and get a mannequin to show off complete outfits. I'd say that's a wise investment indeed. I mean, I'd say so. Ooh, 10,000. Ooh, you don't have enough star coins to improve the shop. Sorry, bud. I'm not, not everyone's rich like you, Scrooge McDuck. Yeah, and that's a $4,000 jacket, but it's so cute. I love that. According to my catalog, this item is currently valued at 4000 And according to my records, you don't have the funds to purchase it, Kaz. Why does he have my records? Scrooge McDuck, please don't have my records. <laughs> Also, I did have to, of course, buy a gaming PC. I love computers. <laughs> Looking at this item, are you? Desktop computer. It is a fine acquisition of for someone of good taste. I agree. And it's pretty cheap. Oh, it's from Wreck-It Ralph. Oh, God. I know nothing about Wreck-It Ralph. I am clearly just... I need to do better. Oh, so you can use night shards to make onyx? Or you're making night shards out of onyx well we have night shards we don't have onyx so i think that's what it does so we can also decorate the the village that's quite cool i might start making some brick road in the future to try to make the the actual valley look quite nice all right goodbye scrooge Over here, it's been about like 24 minutes since I started recording, so I was starting to get very antsy and like I just could not get comfortable in my seat. Um, so honestly, I have a standing desk. I should have just paused this and lifted it to stand and get some good stretches in, but I was like, nope, I'm recording. <laughs> so in the future, I'm going to try to focus on listening to my body's needs. If my body is asking me to stand up and stretch, I should stand up and stretch. I have a standing desk for a reason. 
And it is quite nice. It was very cheap. Highly recommend the Flexi Spot desks. They're pretty stable and sturdy. Mine doesn't shake too much. Um, and I have my partner do most of the drilling for it. So he was he hand drilled it. So highly recommend the Flexi Spot desk. Hashtag not spawn. I'm too small for them to sponsor me, I think. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I would love them to sponsor me because I literally bought their product. But I don't think I'm, I'm a big enough content creator. That's fine. Ooh, wait, there's a green chest. So green chests are gonna have clothes in them. My yes, green chests always have clothes in them. So we need to go back into Scrooge's area. <gasps> green artist satchel? Oh my goodness, that is so cute. So that's on back where the wings are. I'm always looking for a little backpack, not not the wings. But oh my goodness, look how cute. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm blocking it. <laughs> well, it's very cute. You'll see it as my character is running around. It's very cute. I love it very much. Just look at that. Oh, adorable. And I think I'm a huge fan of the, the overalls. So wait, can we not pick up those, those stumps? Like, can we not move them? It's kind of annoying, but it's fine. Something while we're kind of just cleaning around over here that I want to talk about is caffeine. <laughs> um, this sounds like a weird thing to talk about, but while well, I'm playing a game, but for those who follow me on Twitch, um, shamelessly plugging my Twitch, um, go follow me, please. I love streaming on Twitch and we have a lovely little community over there. Um, for those who follow me there, our entire community is based off of coffee and caffeine and like a cafe sort of vibe. Um, because I love coffee. I drink coffee a lot. I actually make myself at least one latte a day, if not more. Which is, you know, a lot of caffeine. <laughs> a lot. Um, but over the last few weeks, I've sort of had to not have as much because our fridge has been broken. And it took a couple weeks for us to get the... The fridge a new fridge kind of delivered because of the way we work and our work schedule and everything um which is a little stressful we had to go a couple weeks without a fridge um we were living out of a cooler with my oat milk kind of tucked into the ice like fine wine it was lovely um it did not work effectively um but it led to me sort of either having to buy coffee which i try to avoid but i do frequently um and or make like French press coffee, which is good, but not my favorite, which was pretty good for me, actually. I ended up not drinking as much coffee, which was really, really good for me. Um, so today I had myself, I made myself a latte with just um, one shot of espresso. Now that I have the new fridge, it was delivered yesterday. I love it. Um, so yeah, I've been making myself less coffee and less caffeine and that's really good for me i'm so excited i'm so 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 excited um and i can just feel myself feeling a little more a little more relaxed a little more um calm less jittery though i will say coffee for me mostly just helps my adhd it doesn't really do much unless i'm having too much but i think i've been having too much so <laughs> All of that is to say, coffee is great. We love coffee, but if you limit it and you only enjoy it at a certain amount of time or you only enjoy it um, sometimes, it's good for you. Also, I did not realize that there was the, the timer, damn it. <laughs> um, but yeah, highly recommend drinking coffee in moderation because I really enjoy coffee, but oh, yeah. Bless me bagpipes. I'm back in business. All I need now are some customers. Oh, and a good investment deserves a good return. These coins are for you. Use them to get anything you like. So he's kind of just saying, I have to spend them in his shop, huh? <laughs> Come in, take a look around, Kaz. If you're not finding anything you like, talk to me in the shop to use my patented McDuck delivery system. 
which does sound nice. So we do go talk to him about that because that does sound quite nice. Hello, Scrooge McDuck. Greetings, neighbor. Hi, hello. What type of item are you looking for? So here, I'm super excited to see all these cute things. Like, we can't afford any of them yet. Or we can't afford most of them yet. But, like, they're so cute. I almost bought the glasses. Because I wear glasses in real life, obviously. And desperately wanted that. So here, we're just going to look at everything. Oh, I love that coat so much. But it doesn't let you wear it over the, the overalls, which kind of sucks. That dress is adorable as well. Um, but for some reason, the red one wasn't showing. Is that because I couldn't afford it? I don't know. I also really like that dress. But the pink one just gives me so much joy. It's like, it spins and twirls. Ugh, the best dresses spin and twirl. And I feel like that one would have pockets as well. Like, I just, it's such a nice dress. It has to have pockets, you know? Ooh, and I do like looking at shoes. Um, in real life, I actually have a shoe obsession. Um, I don't want to call it that. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to be like dramatic and say that I do have a shoe obsession. But I'm like, I'm pretty sure I love shoes very much. Um, no, I know I love shoes very much. Um, I, I love them. <laughs> I I love different shoes. I love them. So, shoes and games get my attention fast. <laughs> Um, I also really like looking at the furniture in here, um, and the counters. Ooh, and a microwave. <gasps> I do think we order that. I do think we order that so we can have, like, a, a countertop for, for the espresso machine. But it does take a little while to come in. Um, I would prefer white countertops, though. I prefer, like, white counters in kitchens, um... Which is interesting, because my partner hates white kitchens, and I love them. So we'll see what happens when we eventually buy buy a house. We'll see. We'll see who wins. I feel like because he ends up being in the kitchen more, um, I feel like he's going to win. But it's fine. <laughs> um, I don't think I look at rugs, do I? I really should, because I absolutely love rugs. Do I look at the rugs? No, I look at the tables. Come on, Kaz, look at the rugs. Now, like, future Kaz, voiceover Kaz is like, did you look at the rugs? No, I didn't look at the rugs. Darn it, now I'm going to have to open up this game to look at the rugs. <laughs> also, you'll probably see me lifting up my water bottle a lot. Please, please, please make sure you are drinking water, staying hydrated, and all of that. Please, 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 and thank you. If you hear that slurping sound, I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the microphone. That is me hydrating, so very important. <laughs> Here's me finding out that the computer doesn't go up there, which is very upsetting. <laughs> I was really hoping it would go up there, but it does not. So we'll have to get a new desk eventually, but it's fine. We at least own that gaming computer, right? Oh, wait. The island is already there? Okay, well, it's not going to be in the next episode because I already recorded the next episode. But the episode after that, we are going to set up that kitchen island. Just saying. We are going to set up that kitchen island. For some reason, I thought it would take longer for it to get delivered. Cool. You can order it, like, right away. That's quite nice. <laughs> Here was me trying to see if it would look good there. It does not get rid of that. But I do love the espresso machine. I really do. I have one that looks similar to it. Um, a very expensive one that I love deeply. It is my best friend. I, If it broke tomorrow, I would somehow find the money to purchase it and get a new one. Because I'm so deeply obsessed with it. And it saves me literally thousands. Because instead of buying coffee, I get to make it so highly recommend if you if you enjoy lattes saving up and investing in a, a really big one they're kind of expensive but 
I find them super worth it. Um, I have a Breville Barista Express. Hashtag not spawn. They should because I talk about them daily to everyone in my life. But they're fantastic. Highly recommend. Um, I think right here we're going to head back over to Goof to sell some of our crap. And we're getting ready to wrap up. But I start the next episode literally immediately following this. So we shall see. Um, I really, really enjoyed playing it where I was like, I don't want to record the audio. I just want to play more. So that's what I did. But we're going to sell this. Um, while I'm selling this, I'm going to let you know. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, preferably in a kind way, but if not, that's fine. Um, and yeah. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Have a great rest of your day, okay? Bye.